Hey there, everyone, and welcome back to Real Living, and welcome if you're new. My name's Ashley, and today's video kind of has a little bit of odds and ends. Um, a few different things are being taken care of. I uh, got the car cleaned, um, cleaned up after the car clean, and I had a ton and ton of laundry to take care of. So come along with me, and let's get motivated. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Or would you stay with me now till the morning light? Before you turn away, I just want you to know that I didn't throw your stuff away. Before you make up your mind that I'm nowhere to find I'm standing right here I know that I told you we're over I swear that I'm sober Just listen, I miss you And I know that I said all these things But now when you're with her I can see that That you miss me So first things first, the very first thing I was able to get done was getting my car cleaned. Um, I do believe this is the first time I've um, cleaned this car on my channel. And it is, those of you who don't know or haven't followed me for very long, it is a new car that I got on my birthday in November of 2023, just a few months ago. So it is definitely a prized possession of mine, and I love this car so much. And um, it really wasn't too bad. Um, mostly pretty much taking care of the... Um, vacuuming and there was a lot of dust buildup and stuff like that but I try to keep up on this car just because of the um, type of car that it is I have always dreamed of having a Challenger as soon as they came back out with them um, it was one of the cars that I definitely wanted to have um, in my possession at one point in my life and now we finally have it so I have tried my hardest to just keep up on it and take care of it but it definitely needed to be cleaned so starting off I am just taking everything out and giving the entire car a good once over with the vacuum taking care of the um floor mats first and then taking those out and um, vacuuming the carpet underneath and making sure to hit the uh, chairs and the seats as well. So everything um, starting wise is taking care of all of the um, vacuuming first and foremost.
tonight We could do this right We'll find the remedy Or would you stay with me Once I finished with the vacuuming, I went behind and I used pretty much just a multi-purpose cleaner. I use either Mrs. Myers or I will make up a solution of Pine Saw. I just love the smell of it. And that is the multi-purpose cleaner that I will use. I use that in the house and I also use it in the car. And um, I will sometimes use a tool called a tornador, which holds chemical in a um, cup or a canister and uses the air compressor to penetrate all of the cracks and crevices. So instead of using that this time, because Joe was over uh, next to the car buffing his dad's uh, Jeep, so I didn't want to have too many... Um, lines run to kind of get in his way possibly make him trip or whatever the case may be so I just used um my little spray pump and um my chemicals and the um uh, detailing brush now the detailing brush I really really love that thing it definitely helps me get into all the cracks and crevices and gets a lot of the dirt out of all of the seams and stuff like that so I really like using it just because it makes it less on me to have to scrub at it with a rag I will just spray it down and scrub it out with the brush and then just wipe all of that off and then after I did all of that in the car I didn't record it because I had already showed you guys the first round of vacuuming which was a lot more satisfying but after I finished cleaning the inside of the clock car and wiping everything down and all of that I do go back and do a second vacuum just to pick up any of the little stuff that came off the dashboard or in the cup holders or things like that so I do give it another vacuum over after it is completely done on the inside <music> Thank you. 
gonna keep it low now. If you wanna go, let's go. Let's so because the day before when I was cleaning the inside of the car, Joe was buffing his dad's car, we decided to wait to wash our car because we wanted to buff it as well and kind of polish it and um, get some of the swirls out of the paint as you've seen in the before and um so with all of the dust and everything and it sitting out in the sun we wanted to wait until the next day to wash it and begin the buffing process on that so we moved the car underneath our little makeshift awning that we made with a um tarp just so that the sun wasn't beating down on it because um not only will it make the soap leave residue or the water will leave water spots um we wanted it to be cool to the touch for when we did start buffing because the compound will dry way too fast if it is a hot vehicle and it says on the bottle make sure the car is not hot because it won't work properly so um we wanted to get the car washed off first because of all the dust from the day before and we weren't really too particular on how we washed it we just wanted to get it washed and then um, i took my chamois around and also dried the uh, vehicle completely um, trying to make sure that there was no water left in any of the cracks or crevices or things of that nature just so that the buffing process would be a lot easier
once I got the car totally dried off, I went ahead and started a um, the buffing process and I applied the compound onto the hood. I will apply the compound and then Joe uses his buffer to buff it in and um, shine it up and polish it and all of that stuff that he knows how to do. I am just the one that applies the compound and I will also wipe the surface when he is done. I will not work a um, buffer because I am scared of burning through the paint. And Joe went to school for it. He does it for a living. And he is just way more qualified to handle the buffer than I am. So I don't touch the buffer, but I will um, take care of the um, compound and wiping process. Broken shadows singing along to nothing matters. Stray around like nighttime rumors. We were in too deep. done with the car the next day I needed to clean up the area that we were working so we had a bunch of tools rags chemicals all kinds of stuff laid out on this um, downstairs porch area so we um, I needed to get it all cleaned up and get it back in order so I went ahead and just took care of all that I didn't do any sweeping or any real cleaning or anything like that out here. It was just basically putting everything back the way where it goes, getting the tools put back in the shed where they belong. And um, I also needed to get all of the towels and everything that we used into the laundry room because at this point I was um, taking care of a lot of the laundry that the next day at the uh, end of this video, you will see me folding and putting all away. We couldn't do it. Every high, every night with you You and me so clueless We were just broken, shattered Singing along to nothing matters Stray around like nighttime rumors We were in too deep In your worn out sweaters Thinking we'll be young forever So those of you who have been following me for a while know that uh, doing laundry is kind of my kryptonite. It is my weakness. It is my nemesis. I do not like 
to do the laundry. I don't mind so much with the washing and drying because it kind of, it does itself. It's not really that hard. Put it in a washer, switch it to the dryer, no big deal. It is the folding and putting away part of the laundry that I always seem to lack in. So I definitely had a lot to make up for. Um, I had washed our clothes, mine and Joe's, and both of the kids. And I also had a ton of towels that I needed to get folded and put away. Part of them were the towels that I use for inside the house. And the other part were the ones that we use for detailing the cars and stuff like that. So I ended up doing all of the laundry and uh, folding everything. But when it comes to the kids' laundry, I folded everything, put it back in their basket, and just put it in their room. And that ended up being their chore for that day. When they got home from school, they were to put their laundry away, and then they were free to do whatever they liked. Um, so I didn't have to do too much other than putting away all the towels and putting away all of my laundry. But it was definitely a lot because, unfortunately, I definitely let the towels build up a little too much. And um, I had to get them stocked back up. So it was definitely a lot. And it's something that I never take any joy in. But I also feel slightly ashamed because I should keep up on it. And sometimes I'm just not that good at it. <laughs> Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar Another glass and I am going places Makes me laugh above the irony of everything I like the way you're thinking I don't really care about the music on the dance floor I don't really mind all the smokers in the bathroom I don't care at all, baby, you got my attention So you were saying See the logic of things It's quite a lonely world that we're living in Oh baby, you are something special, I'm sure Everything makes total sense when you're next to me
I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was definitely different, but I wanted to try to keep it a little different because cleaning my house the same way over and over and over, I'm sure it gets boring for you guys. So I wanted to kind of change things up, work on the car, show you some of the things that I kind of lack in and I needed to catch up on and stuff like that. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you think and I will see you all next week.